Hello, Grad 2021. I am Mr. Van, and I'm here with Ms. Calder, and we are making a video for you of things to know, tips and tricks for making sure you survive your graduation, which is a reminder, you will have signed up either for on June 16th or 17th at any of the 4, 5, 6, or 7 p.m. time slots. Watch for information and live stream information for your family as well. But today, we're here to talk about what you need to do. So first of all, you can see I am working quite nicely our graduation outfit. You can only hope to look this good. And here's a couple things to remember. One, it's gonna come in one of these just like this. I've got an extra hat because I'm special. You'll have just one. And you'll get it um, on June 2nd and 4th. That's Wednesday and Friday next week, the 2nd and 4th. A to L will be on the 2nd. M to Z will be on the 4th. Time from 10.30 to 1.15. Flex, lunch, flex. You'll get all this information in your newsletter as well. Inside here will be the gown, will be the hat, the tassel, and whatever this is called. Stole. Stole, noted. Uh, first thing to note is that you will put the tassel on here and you may want to make sure you uh, pin this down. Um, ladies or case as well, who is probably the biggest and best hair in the grade, you'll want to make sure you consider pinning this your hair to it so that it doesn't go flying. If you have a giant noggin like me, it won't be a problem because this thing can't move. But lots of you with smaller, less impressive brains than myself will need to consider that. Um, you'll also notice that at the back, it will be a little bit more rounded. And for those of you who could use extra instruction like me, there will be a little arrow inside it pointing. Next thing to remember is the gown itself. Uh, paper will fall out. The gown itself will need to be aired out. Um, if you take a hot shower, you can put this in the bathroom with you and you can uh, kind of get rid of the wrinkles. You want to make sure you've got it out for a couple days before your graduation. Nothing looks less cool than showing up with a super wrinkled outfit. You can, you can also iron it on very low heat, but just be careful, uh, sometimes they burn. There you go. So best use a mop to uh, make sure you take care of that well. Um, the tassel, just so you know, will be on the left side if you're looking out. So if you're looking out the left side to begin with, and then when you graduate, I can do this because I've done it. I have graduated. You can go to the right side. So that'll happen at the actual graduation ceremony. Also, a note just on your, uh, your positioning of the stole, which I've learned how to say. Um, you kind of want to have it rocking in between. You don't want it all the way to the front, and you don't want it like this either. It kind of sits in between like so. It's a nice, nice game to play throughout the entire ceremony as it falls back and forth. And last but not least, think uh, carefully about what you're wearing underneath. You may have fantastic legs like me. Your mom and dad might not want you to show them. So keep in mind, um, most of your grad outfits will show a little bit. And so mine's a little bit staticky because I just took it out a minute ago and didn't set it up for two, two days ahead of time. Uh, but think about what you want to wear as far as footwear and pants and what will be showing. Um, if you are someone brave enough to rock heels, keep in mind there's a fair bit of walking um, and everyone in the world who's graduated has had the dream of uh, breaking a heel across the stage. So be mindful of what you're wearing. If you're great in heels, go for it. But don't feel the pressure. You can certainly wear flats as well. Like the smaller pants. I'm sure they saw that. <laughs>45 minutes and you're going to want to make sure you get here about 20 minutes before it starts. You'll be coming through the main doors, should be easy, you've done it for five years, and you're going to come and you're going to make sure you hand sanitize, can never do enough of that, I'll demo right now, there you go. Once you come in here, you'll likely be greeted by, uh, greeted by a staff member, and then you'll head over this way towards the grad hall, which is just by these first exit signs, as if you were heading down to the PE. Um, to the PE and cafeteria area. Um, when you get down there, you'll be organized alphabetically, which is why you need to come here a little bit early, because we've got to get everyone in the right order for the ceremony. And you'll also be given a name card, which will have information on it that you'll want for inside the ceremony. So now we are at the um, spot where you'll be lining up. We'll pretend like I'm the person with the last name that probably starts with an A. And everyone will be coming down from the grad hallway here. Um, we're going to be led by Mr. Morrow into the auditorium. So I'll be the first student for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through, down the aisle, up over the stage, and then we're going to find our seats. 
in the um, card that you're given, the index card that you're given, you will have both a color and a number. That will tell you exactly where to sit. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Because we need to follow COVID protocols, Mr. Van. Hashtag COVID. All right, let's head on in and demo what it'll be like walking down. So this is called what, what Mr. Van? This is called the procession. So what kind of music would you, you hear? Uh, you might hear some. No, you're going to hear no, pomp, no. pomp and Circumstance. Ooh, Pomp and Circumstance. Oh, the like, classic grad song. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to walk down here. You want to make sure you keep a pace that's reasonable, but you also want to make sure you're not like bolting down. So hopefully you got someone in front of you who's got a good rhythm, maybe spent some time in the music program. You'll walk up here. Not tripping, not tripping, not tripping, not tripping. Thank God for flats. Coming across here. The music stands, you'll be happy to know, will not be in the, the graduation ceremony. And uh, we're going to then walk across here. This is where we're smiling, we're waving. There will be our tone of people. You, again, won't be dodging any of this, although it's kind of fun right now. You'll be uh, having your photograph taken. You give a wave, give a smile. Remember, this isn't for you, it's for your parents. It's for your family. You're going to come down the other side, and then you're going to go and find your seat. So okay. again, where? how do you know which seat you're in? My little index card is going to have my information with the number and also with the color. So each graduation ceremony has its own color so that we can spread out. If you look at the seats, you'll see they've already got marked colors on the top of them. Okay, so I'm sitting in my seat. We've just finished the processional. It's worth saying at this point that although at the moment I'm not showing the mask, it's just for the point of the video, you will be wearing your mask for all points except for what we're about to do now, which is crossing the stage, which will include taking a photo, and we want to make sure that our Tona gets the pearly whites and, and that you're looking your best. So you can expect to be able to take your mask off when you cross the stage. Now, specifically how this works is that a staff member, likely Ms. Rhonda's head, but a staff member for sure, will indicate to the first person that we're going to get up and we're going to go across like this oh oh yes okay here we go uh, we're, we're getting up i've been given the signal and i'm going to go back up just like we did with the processional at this point i've still got for good evidence i've got the mask on when i get to the top here there'll be someone like uh, maybe even actually myself and i'm going to give that card to one of the two readers at which point I'm then allowed to take the mask off. I wouldn't even hang it. That's going to not look not very cool, but kind of put it behind your back or tuck it in your pocket. Uh, don't chuck it on the floor. <laughs> and then you're going to uh, hear your name called. You're going to walk out into the middle. There will be a mark on the floor, and you're going to stand there where your grad quote will be read out for you. Or if you didn't provide one, one will be read for you. continue sorry then you'll take your photo looking good and then you're going to walk off the stage if on your cue card which you'll get when you first arrive you have an extra little sticker that means and this is exciting you're going to be getting an additional recognition it could be an award big small scholarship it could be lots of different things but if you have the sticker, make sure you stay there because Mr. Morrow, who suddenly will now be over here and be the one who's greeting you in the center of the stage as our principal, will be grabbing the scholarship, grabbing the bursary, grabbing the world's largest trophy you've ever seen and presenting it. And you'll get a second photo. So everyone gets at least one photo. Uh, and you may, if you've got that sticker, you'll get the second photo. Okay, Mr. Van, let's try it really quick. Okay, so head back. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So this is real. Hand your paper. Nicholas would like to thank Mother Nature for looking so Stop! Mr. Van, take off your mask properly. Oh, your mom doesn't want a picture like that. Okay, one more time. Yes. Show the grade okay. 12s right. what not to do. Right, right. Okay, one more. Take two. Nicholas would like to thank Mother Nature for looking so young that he can actually view these promo videos and look like a teenager. Yay! 
Did I get an award? No. All right, see you later. Okay, let's do one if you have to do an award. Okay, circle back. Okay. Now this is if you have a dot on your index card letting you know that you have received a, an award. Okay. This is what would have happened to me, honestly. Nicholas would like to thank Mother Nature for looking so young that he can actually do these promo videos and look like a graduating teenager. Nicholas is also receiving an award for being so awesome. Wow. Pause and take your photo. Okay, Mr. Morrow will come back and if you have a trophy, Mr. Morrow will uh, take it back and put it away back to our trophy table and you will walk off. Oh, and then you can turn it the other way. So once you walk off the stage, you of course will head back to your seat. Okay, so we've got our mask back on. We've crossed the stage for the second time. I'll take it off just for the moment of doing the video. Um, and now everyone has now crossed the stage and the graduation ceremony is coming to a close, which is between 30 and 40 minutes. Um, and then what will happen is Mr. Morrow will let us know that we should be standing up like so. We'll then move the tassel from one side to the other and then only when he says, and don't be the guy who does it too early, he'll say, please throw your caps, you're going to take it. Hopefully your hair is looking better than mine. You're going to toss it in the air, and then, I hope I didn't need that again, and then you're going to exit out in the same way you came in. Oh, Mi Mr. Van, pro tip, put your name in the hat. So once you throw it up in the air, and there might be a few hats close by each other, you know which one's yours, because you'll want to keep that as a memento. find it later. Right, right, right. Yes. Okay. So as I'm leaving, I might grab said hat. I'm going to exit out the west side doors of our auditorium. And don't worry, people will direct you where to go. And these doors will probably be open, I'm thinking. Yes. And then I will head out this way, down the end of the hall. There may or may not be something happening here. And then you will swing out into the garden where your parents who have been on their phones watching you and celebrating will come out and meet you to take some photos and celebrate. In between. Okay. So, just saying, what your is your conclusion? My conclusion? Okay, tell me what's up. Okay, it's still rolling. Still rolling? Yeah. Congrats, 2021!